All right, ladies, it's time for some games. If you want to pass the time with doing something other than workbook problems or on the computers, if you have some dice from a game, it's the perfect way to practice your multiplication facts like we do in school. If you don't have a fidget spinner as a timer, you can use the timer on your oven or on uh, maybe a stopwatch or, or something that um, you, a parent has. But also remember that you can play the biggest winner. So just a reminder, I set up a four digit by one digit multiplication problem. Ask a sibling or mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, somebody who will play this with you. And remember, I roll my die. I got a two. Hmm. I'm thinking that's pretty low. So I'm gonna put mine here. Roll again. I got a one. Oh, yikes. Next roll. Woo, I got a six. That's going here. Next roll. Another six. I think I'm gonna put that here. And my last roll, a five. Now, if I had a partner, my partner would have been doing the same thing on their separate piece of paper. Remember, you don't want to show your partner where you are putting your numbers. And then I'm gonna multiply to see what my answer is. Six times two is 12. Put my two, regroup my one. Six times one is six, plus one is seven. Six times five is 30. Put my zero, regroup my three. Six times six is 36, plus three, 39. Final answer, 39,072. And I'm just gonna say, because I was the only one playing this game, that I win, woohoo, yay me. Also remember that if you have a deck of cards, you can flip two cards at a time and use them to quickly do addition and multiplication facts. Or you can use the cards to even fill in addition, subtraction, multiplication, or even division problems. So I will see you tomorrow with a new review lesson. Love you.